and we're going ocean fishing. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, brother. Yeah, brother. We just need to find something out there that we can... There she is. There she is. We're going ocean fishing now. When do we get a league stream? Uh, probably literally never. <laughs> Ho! That's a big boy right there. Only one. All right, we gotta go talk to this guy now. Do we finish our book? No, it's only 70%. That's a shame. That's a shame. Well, we got this bad boy. One and a half meters. It's a bronze whaler. Any more? That's another bronze whaler way out there. There's a stingray out there. Coastal and dredge. Yeah. It'll be alright. We'll find it. We'll find him. Let's go see this bad boy here. I'll put it this way, Corvota. If I ever play League, just know that I got paid a lot of money. <laughs> if I ever see a League stream, I'll be calling the local authorities for a wellness check. Yep. It'll be, uh, I'll be rolling in the dough, that's all I can say. <clears throat> the man is standing in the doorway, watching you approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbons. <sighs> you came. Good. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a collector of many things. Art and artifacts, treasures and truths, and curios that occupy the periphery of your desire. And you have something for me. You give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. These patterns are unmistakable. Even after all this time, the handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. It carried items of great importance. As you can imagine, retrieving them is proving to be a challenge. And that's where you come in. My preposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with equipment that will let you dredge the wrecks and dark depths. Find me these lost relics and I will reward you in ways beyond all imagining. You need not give up your fishing career. I'll merely need a few hours with your vessel to make the necessary alterations. What do you say? Yeah, sure, why not? An excellent decision. I'll prepare the equipment immediately. Oh my god. Alright, well we're probably crashing here for the night. <laughs> The relics we're looking for are a ring, a necklace, a watch, a music box, and a key. I would encourage you to ask around the town about shipwrecks and other strange occurrences, anything that might be worth investigating. Return when you have something. Okay. Well, I know where some of them are. Any port in a storm indeed? Ah, oh, I kept it locked. How's my ship look now? Did he... Oh, I guess I can just do that now, huh? Oh, okay. So I gotta find each one. There's a there's a separate to each one. Okay, and this is how I get upgrades for my ship as well. Alright, well, we're gonna sleep. Because it's already getting late. Napping for a long time. Alright, time to head out. Da -da 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 that's stale. <laughs> All right, let's get this one real quick. Uh, I do want a full price one. I just want to know how much they cost. What is that? It's on the other side. Do we want to go all the way over there? Let's go all the way over there. What, what say you? 
Hey, there's a ring. And wood. Wood. It's 9 a.m. It's looking nice outside. This is the other side of that little island, though, isn't it? No, not quite. It's over there. Whatever, we're picking up this thing. Now, how... You're stale. <laughs> we need a bigger ship. Gotta go this way. Let's hope we can actually carry this stuff, because I don't know about this one. I also don't like the fact that it's already noon. Ah, uh, I got it. Hey! Oh, so this is the stuff I take to the other guy. Oh! I probably shouldn't have, you know. It's already three? Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Fellas, I think it's time we get out of here. <laughs> I honestly don't think we're going to make it. Um, nah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Look, what's the worst that could happen? We're only outside in the middle of the night with nothing around, you know? Log is going to start rolling in real soon, right about now. Yep. There it is. <laughs> it's fine, we still have light. Albeit not much, but we have some, and it's enough to make sure that we can get home. Perfect. Now, the real question is, I guess we're probably going to have to, like... I guess we probably have to pick all of those up and then repair them, which shouldn't be too hard to do. Alright, how much does this thing cost? Oh, man. <laughs> a lot, a lot of stuff to do. How much does this thing cost? A hundred and nine dollars! Sailfish? Money! Sixty-four dollars? Money! This guy, this stuff needs to get taken to the other guy. I don't think he can do anything. Um, dry dock. Yes, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm guessing metal scrap is gonna be for... What is, what is metal scrap? What is that for? Well, hold on, so wait. Yeah, right at the dry dock. Yeah, how do I put it in the dry dock, though? Oh. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, well. That's good. Okay, that makes it nice and easy, then. Uh, there's nothing else that we have to worry about, like no... Yeah, that's all cloth and wood and stuff. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Um, cabin. Rods will reel in fish 10% more effectively. Well, isn't that nice? All right, so what's sustainable fishing? I guess it, like, they can have more in them or something? If you want to get a bit more out of your engines, then take a look through this book on the house. She pulls a book from the toolbox nearby and hands it to you. A few of the pages are stuck together with grease. Gross. I 
I really kind of want a better light. But I don't want to spend the money. <laughs> Let's let's talk to the lighthouse keeper and the builder first. See if they have anything. What is it? You know any shipwrecks around here? She eyes you suspiciously. There's a spot near the back of the Great Marrow where the current carries the wreckage from the sea. Some nights you can see an unnatural grow, glow rising from the patch of dark water. I can't imagine what's down there in the deep. If you're looking for what I think you're looking for, it's best you just move on of any strange things happening. I see plenty of strange things from atop the lighthouse. Sometimes I don't know whether or not I can trust my own eyes. She holds the lantern up so that it shines brightly onto your face. Are you really standing there in front of me? Or is this just another of the fog tricks? Lives in Blackstone Isle. I see a lot from up here, you know. I saw that ill-fated boat return. I chose to look the other way. I watched an unnatural glow flicker through those windows. Whatever you've got planned, I hope you know what you're doing out there. Okay, so she was talking about spot near the back of Greater Morrow, where the current carries the wreckage from the sea. And so that's the unnatural glow up there, is what I'm guessing. So we might have to go and do that at some point. Well, we are going to have to. As you approach the woman sitting on the dockside, staring out to the sea, she turns to you. What's it like out there? Um, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> uh, I would say currently it's peaceful. It's got to be a damn sight better than this bloody town. I think I just need to get away for a while. Maybe not come back. Going backwards is a mistake, don't you think? You should always keep moving forward, moving along. Eh, it's not so bad here. She's gazing out to the sea again, lost in thought. Say, if you find me some materials, maybe I can help. Maybe you can help me move. I mean, really move. There's an island I've heard about, Steel Point, just to the north. Two units of lumber and two units of scrap is all I need. I can make a new place for myself out there. You'd be welcome to visit, too. Just stack it up at Steel Point. When you have everything, I'll pay you when the job's done. Okay. So that's a builder. So she's probably able to upgrade our ship and stuff, too. How do I get more of these? I really want that. <laughs> I really, really want that. I guess it does cost two, though. But it's just so nice. Alrighty, well... Here's the deal. These... are all good, so we can just... Just picking it up... Give me the crab, too. I don't know if it does. Alright, sell this to the fishmonger. $30. Okay. Shipwright. I need to repair... These are 15 apiece. All right. I guess they did kind of make enough money back to pay for themselves. <laughs> and you can swim through him. That's fine. Almost ran into the dock. Don't worry about it. Nothing to worry about. All right. And this, I guess, just makes me faster. Okay. So we do have the back spot of Greater Morrow. Okay, we need to go dredging pretty soon anyways to get some upgrades for the boat, I think. We need an aberrant fish, and we need lumber and scrap. Let's rest until morning. Yeah, you know, this, uh, this game is really nice and relaxing. What are all of these things, I wonder? The best way to go and visit that light at night is to just stay at 
Blackstone Isle, I think. I do want any larger fish I can find, though, like ocean stuff. There's a dredge for some wood. Don't think I don't see that. What is that in there? How do I get in there? There's there's something in there. I messed up. <laughs> Nice. Oh, this is cloth. Yep. Reeling up the cloth. What is that? That's... It's something. You can't even get in there, man. How do we float our... Can we make our boat fly at some point, hopefully? Eels are worth a little bit of money. We kind of got to go that way, so let's go. I mean, I guess we could also just stay out here for the night. Not a fan of whatever that is. Oh. I just totally screwed up my trophy catch, too. Now, the reality of it is, now because we have this, I don't want to wait that long. I want to go back and give this to the fishmonger. It's a very well-crafted game. Glad you're enjoying it. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh... It is very enjoyable. I'm looking forward to getting out into much later sections of the game where you have to go to, like, the other areas. I feel like that's going to be pretty cool. So we don't need cloth scrap for anything. I guess I could just leave those, can't I? Like, I don't have to sit there and... I mean, we might as well, though. Well, can't take that. Alright, well... They've definitely paid for themselves so far. Alright, can I... You got any of those mutants with you right now? You know what? I don't know what's gonna happen. You hold on the aberration for now. For now... I just want to sell this stuff. And then I'll give him his fish. <laughs> now. Hopefully we can get some better crab things too at some point so we can just leave it out for like a week at a time. That'd be pretty nice. Not right now. I do want to sell this stuff though. 59 dollars. Isn't that sweet? All right now we'll give him the fish just in case. Yes. Remember any aberrant will suffice. I suspect they're all the same underneath. The fishmonger takes the aberrated fish from you. He clutches it close to his chest, wringing his hands around its slimy body. Yes. Yes, this should do nicely. <clears throat> Here's what the fish is worth. Why don't you take these two? They're of no use to me. Yes. Research. And development. Hmm, do you hear that? Sounds like the faintest whispering. You listen. Silence. In the stillness of the room, the fishmonger's hands begin to tremble. His face grows anguished. Uh, please, sell what you need, then leave. I must deal with this quick creature. Quickly now. All right, okay. Well, I, you know, that's why I sold it before I got here. The fishmonger's door slams behind you. You hear the heavy scraping of a metal bar sliding across it. Hey. Hey, whatever you're doing in there, just, you know, be safe. <laughs> I like how there's like multiple variants of it. Like one has to be caught. 
I guess this has to be caught during the day. Rod or Trawl in the Marrows. Interesting. Alright, whatever he's doing in there, what do you think he's doing in there? I don't think he's eating the fish. <laughs> you guys ever see that meme? It's like the dude that's like, I'm going to pleasure myself with this fish. <laughs> that's uh, that's what he's doing in there with that long, slimy eel. I mean, you saw the way he like caressed it and stuff. He's, he's a sick man. He's a sick man. All right, well now we have this. Mangrove and coastal, volcanic and shallow, and then all of them. Nice. Oh, we can get bigger pots too. Last longer in the water, I like that, I like that. All right, when we get more of this stuff, we'll have to get more of that too. But we can now buy the rod, which is a good thing because we've saved up our money for this exact reason. 400, we can spend it all, <laughs> spend it all. We'll be getting it back. Send, spend it all. Coastal, shallow, oceanic. We've got it all, baby. We've got it all. We can pretty much just sell these now, right? I mean, that's literally just better in every way. I'm going to hold on to those just in case. Just, just in case. Yes, yes, I know, I know. Yes, I know. Um... Can I? Oh, I can. Oh, yo, I can. Okay, so I can actually trade stuff around for this then. Okay, and then we can put this in here for now. All right, sir, gotta get into Lurk Mode. Enjoy your catches. Will do. We're about to go see what's over there. All right. No, because I don't have a light. <laughs> Never mind, we're not going over there. But we will go night fishing. Some arrow squid sounds about good right now. Just right off the coast. All right, cool. Well, well, I guess we really didn't need to catch any. The fishmonger won't open up. <laughs> Never mind. I don't know why on earth I did that. I'm completely useless. I can't even sell my fish to him. All right, what if I put, does it count as cold storage? Whatever. Well, we'll wait till he opens back up. He's been in there all night. And he refuses to talk. Alright, so two wood, two scrap. That's what we're looking for, so that way we can open up the builder on Steel Point up north. So we need to keep an eye out for that sort of stuff. There's scrap over here. Which is good. We want this. We need this. Dang, just one. Man. I really wanted more. <laughs> Dredge ho! To the west! This is a big fish. I think I'm good with one for now. <laughs> oh.
Well, hold on. Yeah, you know what? Toss that. Well, that's two right there. Now we just need one more wood. And we have this. To not reduce fish stock when catching fish. Nice. On the shelf, we'll start reading correct engine operation, which is probably like going to be like a 10% increase or something like that. That has a picture of a cod. Slab of rock just from the water. Crude symbols of a curved fish at its base. A rough shape has been chiseled away. Ooh! All right, we need to go and get cod for this thing. When we're done getting our wreckage stuff, we have to go and get cod. Yeah, can I just get this wreckage? <laughs> can I just get this? All that's left of this boat is an old husk you pull a little closer. Look inside. Oh! Oh, money! <laughs> Old iron chain and research. Look at that. All right, well, we're going in now. You best believe we're heading back with all this stuff. And we need to get some cod on the way out here, too. What's going on, Jam? Thank you for the sub. Hello, Captain. Welcome, Sailor. We're just out here doing the deed, getting the fish, all that jazz. I just recognized that we went the wrong way. All right, I do think for research purposes, um, I feel like Hardy or large? The, those are the two that we might want. <clears throat> I feel like hardy is a little bit better, though. But... Volcanic and shallow. Mangrove and coastal, huh? Um... Now nah, let's get... I guess we'll get one of these. I guess we're going to probably get all of them eventually anyways, so who cares, but... What's in storage? Oh, it's stale. <laughs> now, is that ring one of the ones that we needed? I think that that was one of the ones that we needed. So we've got three wood. We only need two. So we can... We can, uh... Where is it? It's somewhere. <laughs> Dry dock. Uh, I think we have parts in here. Let's put one of the lumber parts in there. Okay, perfect, perfect. And what was the other main quest we were needing? Relics. Ring and Stellar Basin. Okay, so we haven't found the ring yet. Because the ring is going to be down here, so... Let's... Get all this stuff. No, no, no. We need to, we need to go... We need to go out that way. Sell all of our stuff, probably sleep for the night, and then continue to head up to Steel Point. Put all the stuff there, and then we'll be good to go. Yeah, night night, night stuff isn't usually too bad out here so far. <laughs> you know, so far. See another glowing light over there. Yes. 25, 75, 30, okay, okay. 
or 750, not 75. All right, well, we have a little bit more money. Um, grieving father. Hello, is everything okay? Uh, do you know of any shipwrecks around here? Well, yes, you see, my only son was lost at sea some years ago. He's still out there, somewhere in one of those wrecks, all alone in the cold, dark water. The man is clearly trying his hardest to remain composed, but tremors of grief rack his body. I was wondering, uh, I noticed you have some dredging equipment